Why would you want to convert from one element to another element? Um, why would you want to... Okay, so like, there, there's kind of two use cases, right? The two use cases are... You... Oh god, what are the colors? Blue? Green or blue? Okay. Let's say you have a bunch of lightning damage. And you also have a bunch of coal damage. These are like the same fucking color. This is so bad. I don't make it more green looking. Edit colors. Green. 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 This. There. Let's say you have a bunch of coal damage. You have a bunch of coal damage and you also have a bunch of lightning damage, right? So what you want, you want like a curse. And you want to penetrate, right? So like you want to use like frostbite or you want to use flammability, right? You want to use wave of conviction because you want elemental exposure, right? You want to, on the skill tree, you want to pick up things that say like percent increase cold damage, right? You want you want to like percent increase something damage because you want to be able to focus on only one of those elements, right? So there's, there's two use cases, like I said. One is you have half of each. You have half of this. And you got half of this over here. The other use case is you have a whole bunch of lightning damage. And maybe you want to convert it to another element, right? So let's talk about this one first. This one over here is easier. Uh, why do only one element? Uh, because of these things, right? So you want to like have 50% cold converted to, or sorry, lightning converted to cold. And then you also want to have um, like a call of the brotherhood. TOTB. So you want to completely convert all of your damage over to cold damage. And then... You have all cold damage. And then you get to use one curse to penetrate. You want to use Wave of Conviction for cold instead of trying to split it or something. You want to have your skill tree that all does one thing. You want to have like all those things moving in the same direction. Right? Okay, that's one use case. The other use case is a weird one. It's over here. So like, for example, why do you see people who play Blade Vortex convert all their damage into lightning damage and then also use a Call of the Brotherhood to convert their lightning damage into cold damage. And then why do they also convert their damage with cold to fire support into fire damage? Like, why the fuck did they do this? Like, why, <laughs> why don't they stop anywhere along the way? And oftentimes the answer for that, not always, but oftentimes the answer for that is something called non... Wow, that's an N. Non... Chaos as extra chaos. And nobody abbreviates it like this, because that's dumb. Everybody calls it non-chaos. Non-chaos as extra chaos. And the reason that this is good to convert from physical damage into lightning damage, into cold damage, into fire damage, is that non-chaos is extra chaos. It's kind of weird. It takes your cold damage or takes it takes the element that you have it takes 10 percent of it and it adds it as chaos but if you convert your cold if you convert your lightning damage into cold damage it's going to take 10 percent of this as extra chaos and it's also going to take 10 percent of this as extra chaos and if you convert all of your cold damage into fire damage it's also going to take 10% of this and add as next to chaos. And you might be saying, isn't that cheating? It applied three times. My response to you is, yep. That's why it's good. Cool. That is, that is why you convert. That is why you convert. And those are some of the considerations behind converting. Um, this... This thing right here, in Heist League, this kind of gets confusing 
Because we just got a new skill gem. And it's called Elemental Penetration Support. And I'm pretty sure you can only get this by like selling a, uh, what's it called? Replica Bitter Dream. So this is like a brand new addition to the game, which is kind of cool, I guess, right? But you still care about the Wave of Conviction. You still care about the skill tree itself and being able to scale all of your damage in one particular way. So in general, it's a good idea if as much of your damage as possible is one element. That's the dream. If you've got like a little bit of cold and like 95% lightning or something, you're fine. Don't worry about it. But yeah, ideally you want all of your damage to be one element. Also, ideally, you want either all of your damage to be physical or all of your damage to be elemental. The rationale for that is all of this up here, but also reflect maps. <laughs> 